Hey everyone, welcome to my video on how to edit audio track effects. Now there are videos out there to show you how to edit audio clip effects, but this is going to show you how to edit audio track effects. So as you can see, I have added a low pass filter. This is a single parameter effect that requires only one soft knob. So this GUI works fine for effects like the low pass filter. And you can see as I adjust the low pass, you can hear the uh, difference, right? You can hear the low pass. So let's set it at 150. So that's pretty good. So that's soloing the low pass channel. So there you go. So there it is with the music. And if we mute the low pass, you can hear that the channel, you can hear the difference, right? When we mute it, it cools off. And when we uh, unmute it, it warms up. But suppose I wanted to add a 10 band graphic EQ to the track and I wanted to edit it. So how the hell do you do that? There are no tutorials that show you how to do this. So I'm gonna show you now. So I've added a graphic EQ and you can see you can use the pull down menu to adjust the EQ parameters. But all it says is band three. Who the hell knows what that is? I mean, it's, it's useless. See how useless that is? I don't know what frequency it is. I don't know how much I want to adjust it. I don't have any visual cues to adjust the EQ. So here's what we do. We show keyframes icon, right? And then we highlight the track EQ, main gain, master gain. Then we highlight it again. Now we can click on the edit current effect. And there it is. And that is how you can edit a track EQ, a 10 band. And this works also for the parametric EQ, the 20 band EQ, the 30 band EQ. Nobody tells you how to do this. It took me hours to figure this out. Tech support was zero help. Adobe tech support, zero help on this. Because they apparently they don't, they don't show you how to use their software. They only show you how to fix it if it's broken. But you can hear, I'm adjusting the EQ here. You can hear how it sounds. Solo the channel. And you can hear I warmed it up. Cool it down a little bit. So there you go. And that is how you edit a track equalizer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's my first Adobe tutorial, so please forgive me if it's not perfect. Please subscribe. Thank you very much.